Hello, uh, it's Mark Chris from Memorial Sloan Kettering. Uh, speaking today about perioperative therapy and the tremendous opportunity uh, we have now as medical oncologists and part of a multidisciplinary team to improve the survival and more importantly, the curability of people with locally advanced lung cancer. Uh, in the uh, July 13th uh, paper version of the New England Journal of Medicine, the uh, data on the use of osimertinib in the adjuvant setting was uh, published, and there was a focus there on, on survival. And while many of you were looking at that survival improvement, and there was a clear improvement there, um, I was into the weeds in the supplemental uh, data. And what you could see in there was very clear proof of the usefulness of chemotherapy with osimertinib. What you could see is that if you gave chemotherapy uh, with os osimertinib, there was a clear improvement over osimertinib alone. And the benefit of chemotherapy uh, was there comparing either patients with placebo or osimertinib that by giving chemotherapy, you further improved survival. So uh, I know there's a huge uh, temptation to say, well, you're going to have good results with osimertinib and CG5 mutant disease. Why give chemotherapy? But clearly, the chemotherapy improves uh, outcome. And please remember here that, yes, chemotherapy is difficult. It's lifestyle disruptive, absolutely. But we're talking about cure here. And by increasing the chance of cure, uh, it really makes sense to recommend chemotherapy to every single patient. The other thing I want to remind you too is the tremendous advantage of osimertinib in giving people the potential to be cured. Please remember in the initial publication where they had very uh, clear benefits in progression-free survival, there was a 40 or more percent improvement in a three-year uh, progression-free survival by adding in osimertinib. And, and so it says to me is you've increased the chance of giving somebody uh, a cure by 40% by giving osimertinib. So we really need to do that. Um, the other uh, issue that's come up is the uh, growing uh, evidence of the benefits of neoadjuvant therapy. There's now four large randomized trials where neoadjuvant checkpoint inhibitor plus chemotherapy was better than chemotherapy alone. And I think it's pretty conclusive that uh, in terms of progression-free survival and uh, pathologic complete response, there's benefit there. Um, so that, that I think is important. But the other thing that's important in these papers is they basically excluded patients that had EGFR and ALK. So what that says is, if you think you want to give a patient adjuvant therapy, what you need to do is to know if they have EGFR or ALK and to know that right at diagnosis. So A, it's important to get that information uh, so you can make the best choice for your patient. But you're also going to now know that a patient has EGFR mutant disease up front. So what are you going to do? Well, I think today's guidelines would say uh, you, you could give them uh, standard chemotherapy, followed by surgery, followed by osimertinib. Uh, you could take the patient right to surgery uh, and give chemotherapy and then osimertinib. But I think what we're going to see more and more, and again, extrapolating from the data giving a checkpoint inhibitor with chemotherapy and knowing about the safety of chemotherapy with osimertinib, that you're going to want to give chemotherapy with osimertinib up front. I know that's a little bit ahead of the curve, um, but it can be done safely. There's good evidence of that, and it makes a lot of sense. Also, I have to tell you, it's a lot harder to give the chemotherapy after surgery. And one thing that's clear from all the neoadjuvant trials, it's easier to give chemotherapy then. So we have a tremendous opportunity as medical oncologists to make an impact in our patients with local regional disease. The era of systemic therapy, or at least the consideration of systemic therapy for anybody with early stage lung cancer is here. And I urge you to put together your multidisciplinary teams, see what you can do to uh, make multidisciplinary care a reality for every single patient with locally advanced disease. 
uh, we can clearly improve outcomes. The data is there now, and I think as more data comes in, we're going to be even more assured that we can change things.